I have a question for you. I, yeah. I want I want the actual stir take because I don't know if this is just stupid or not, but I was thinking about this. Do you because there look, everybody loves the from software RPGs like this, right? We're not talking about any of the other games they've ever made. Not like Armored Core, whatever. This lower left of your screen that looks like this in like five of their games. Everybody loves these with the stamina bar and the, you know, dodging and they, the parrying. They call, they call them souls. So, sure. Yeah. Do you think it would be cool? It, they kind of just, and look, I'm not complaining. I, I love these games. They're amazing. But like each one of these games is like the same kind of game in a different setting with some slightly different changes, right? Yeah. Would you pay like 15 bucks a month? for a Souls-like MMO where they just kept fucking adding stuff to it. They're, they're making them anyways. Uh... Godforged? But made by From Software. Not like, a, oh, something in this world. No, I mean, like, the next whatever they do is just like, you know what? We keep making this type of game and everybody loves it, so let's just, like, have one go forever. I mean, honestly, that's what Neo feels like. It, just not with the M like the actual online. I would love the actual online, but, but comes with a big but that this would be being made by like a Japanese company and it would have a whole bunch of like gotcha mobile well, shit. Well, MMO, I'm using that term wrong. Not an MMO, but just like a, like a constant, like they make Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. They make Bloodborne, they make Elden Ring. They're you're, you're just saying live service Dark Souls. Yes. And it's just like, that. it's just, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, when's the next DLC? Like, it's just going to happen. It's going to be like a wow patch. Like every like four or five, like three or four months. I think on paper, that sounds great. That's what I mean. But I think it would actually be <clears throat> fucking awful. Yeah. In practice, this it would be probably terrible. But I don't know. I just feel like I, I, I love these games. And I, I, I feel more. like they wouldn't be able to execute that without completely killing the vibe of like, hey, for Halloween, we got the new update <laughs> to Souls 14. That's and right. you guys are going to get like, oh, wear pumpkin hats. And like, there's like, just like all the weird themed cosmetics everyone be running around. I in. didn't think and of all like the fucking bizarro fucking yeah. monthly. It, it, I didn't think of the. It's Christmas time. You yeah. can dress up as a tree and transform using your talisman into a fucking present. I forgot about it, the, the Oktoberfest update. That would happen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I mean, like, in theory, if that, if, like, without the pessimism of it being bad, because I feel like there's a 2% chance it makes it through, like, all of, like, the business dealings for them to get, like, the money grant to be able to do some live service multi year thing. Well, hold they can on. Get through all that. And it's How many not DLCs like... did Dark Souls 2 have? Well, it was a bunch. Wasn't it, like, four? Two? Three. Two or three, yeah. So there were three DLCs for Dark Souls 2, and people always go, oh man, it's awesome that... Isn't one of the things you say that one of the reasons why you like Dark Souls 2 so much more than the other ones is why? How much content it has. How much content also, there is. Why Elden Ring is pretty great. But that, isn't that kind of... That, that, isn't that like, what I'm saying? I think you might get what you're saying within a couple years of like, Elden Ring was like crazy financial successful, raised a bunch of eyebrows. People are like, oh, Souls games people have been playing for like 10 years. Time to like come in and ruin it. <laughs> yeah, somebody made a like good a point. like a franchise long enough, like we're getting dangerously close to like, man, I miss the old from soft. I don't want it to happen. It's true. And I hate, like if I'm jinxing it, my bad. But like, these are the, we're in the good times and you got to appreciate. Somebody said, it's actually kind of a good point is like art is finite. It should be kind of in this world. And I think if you don't let a game like this be finite, then you maybe are going down the road where it just ruins everything. And where are we going? <laughs> I don't know. We're just talking. How did we end up at the end of a ledge? How did we end up here? I, I agree on that. Like, everyone got to play through the same thing at the same time and get excited about the same stuff. Yeah. And at the moment that it does become, like, MMOE, everyone's like, what's the quickest way to end game? Because I just want to, like, grind Melania for millennia's godsend set yeah that's true yeah i think it's just like it's a it's such a good thing and it's such a it's such a unique experience that it's almost you sit there and go god damn it i wish i could have that unique experience again but it's here it already exists you already had it fuck fuck dude and i didn't really play those and i'm kind of hoping and assuming it's going to be a little bit more like the older ones yeah
I did the Mario thing where you jump like you freak out even though you make the jump you still jump a the second time third time because you just don't you thought you were gonna miss the edge is that three fall jokes today is it a little bit played out you think well I mean you did miss that jump in the lava place like 40 or 50 times so I think I'm, I can fall a few times okay <laughs> okay <laughs> okay at like e3 comes around it's like June Mm -hmm. And there's like a Dark Souls or like a Bloodborne announcement, like Bloodborne, Moon Rising. And you're like, holy shit, that tra like it's just like a cinematic trailer looks amazing. Looks so good. And at the end, when it says like what consoles and everything it's on, it's like, okay, this was made by Nexon. How are you feeling after that? I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> I think that goes back to what you were asking. Yeah, <sighs> I think. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. What if I told you that this game was ass and there's nothing you could do to convince me otherwise? I would tip my hat to you and say, good day, good sir. We have different opinions. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. I think uh, when someone says you can't change my mind about this. Yeah, that's like that. Oh, <laughs> then I'm not going. I'm not going like, to try. You really expect me to do anything else other than not talk to you anymore? Yeah, it's like, hold on a minute here. Listen to me. Let's talk about this. You've already you've already given me no opportunity to uh, to give you an argument. I would just say, yeah, all right, have have a good day. It's like, hey, hey, Jeremy, pizza's disgusting. I think it's fucking gross. What do you say about that? You think you think you're gonna convince me to eat pizza? No, that's more pizza for me. Can't convince you of something you already don't want or don't like. You already um. you've already made up your mind, and it's almost like you want me to argue with you so you can argue your points back to me for why you think I'm wrong. You're trying, this is a your wrong scenario and I want to prove why. Sorry, I'm not going to give that opportunity to you.